Hey, this is Michael from 256 Mike on YouTube. I'm here with Chica Tica. Well, I'm making this video because I don't know what it is. Maybe somebody can point me to the right direction. Maybe some this has happened to somebody. Okay, my ex-wife called me yesterday. You know, she got my, my three kids for her. And uh, at 2.43 in the morning, she wakes up because she feels like somebody was watching her, you know, watching her sleep. And she looks over to the corner of the bedroom and there's like a blog, like this black shadow thing standing there with a hood on, just standing there looking at her. And she just, she panics, she freezes. She like, she can't move, she's like, so, it's coming at her, like moving. So she closed her eyes and she starts saying, no, no, leave, 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 leave. Like, 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 like panicking, you know, she starts praying and God help me, please. She opened her eyes and is back on the wall again, just standing there. But it wasn't human. It was extremely, extremely black and it had a hood on like this, it's like standing. And check it out. The bedroom door is closed, okay? The only light in the room reflecting is the computer light. You know, when you plug it and it charges, that little light that turns on, that little white light was on. That light right there creates enough reflection right there because the room is not humongous. So it's like standing right there next to the door between the crack of the door and the, and the, and the wall. The door's closed completely. So again, it starts moving. She starts praying and closes her eyes and it moves back again. Every time it moves back. So to make sure she wasn't going crazy, <laughs> she wakes up my son. You know, um, two of my little kids sleep in the bed with her. So she wakes him up and he opens his eyes. He's like, yeah, mom. And she's like, look, 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 what is that? And he opened his eyes and he can see it. But it's, it's like a black shadow, but it's like a blog, like, like, you know. And it's just moving, going like this. It's just not standing still, but just moving, going. And it has a black hood on it. So, again, she's like frozen. She doesn't know what to do. So she reached over to the nightstand and she grabs her cell phone. She's looking right at it. She's looking at the amp. She's looking at it and she turns on the light, bloop, and it disappears. It just disappears. And like I say, it wasn't even like touching the floor. It was like standing there, but there was no feet on the floor or nothing. It was like floating and it was gone. She turns the light off on the phone to make sure that it wasn't a shadow or something, you know, and it's gone. There's nothing on that wall. There's nothing standing there. Nothing at all. Now, check it out. I'm not done yet. Before this happened, two days before this happened, she's in the kitchen cooking, and my daughter's there with her like always <laughs> so that there, there's a cup on the understand and the cup just went zzz. she said the cup moved like 20 inches at least like almost two feet it went zzz, and it just moved and my daughter and her saw it and she's like do you see that she's like yes the cup moved by itself so what's going on and this this just started in this house. It just started. It just started, you know. Um, when I'm around her, like last time I went to visit um, her and the kids, um, after like a day, I started feeling like, bzz, bzz, like in my head, like, Man, like somebody was giving me like an, like an electric shock type of thing, like bzzz, 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 and we just hit, like when I was close to her, 
like sitting on the couch watching TV and like close to her. So I don't know. Um, when we used to live in um, another house in Tampa when we were married, um, and this one is on DeMarco Road. Uh, one day we lay in there, we, you know, laying ready to go to bed. We have the door in the bedroom open so we can see down the hallway. And exactly a female voice say this, and now, and I mean loud. It wasn't no, it wasn't the TV. The TV is off. Uh, we didn't have a radio because we, you know, people really don't have radios. They just put the TV on and. You can listen to music. And I was like, whoa. So we started taking pictures with our phones. And you can see all these white blogs, like all over the wall. And every time we take a picture, they switch. And then we take another picture and it's only one. It's like, whoa. So one night we lay in there and I'm like, well, good night. She says, good night. And this is a different night. And her grandma, something, watch this, something comes and like right here, like close to my face, went pss, pss, pss. And I'm like, I couldn't move it. And she started crying. I'm like, why are you crying? She's like, my grandma used to do that all the time. Like she might go pss, pss, pss. like pss, pss, pss. And I'm like, whoa. So her grandma came at me, amazing. Just amazing things. Uh, let's see. That's one time. That's pretty much what happened in that house. Um, we bought a house in um, Decatur, Alabama, when we first got married. And um, we didn't know that the person that had the house built after a week after moving into the house, had a heart attack and died. Number one, when we bought the house, we were wondering, why is there still furniture and stuff here? You know, why they moved out, like they left, the, the owners. They didn't tell us on the papers that like two months before, um, a child died there from um, cancer, brain cancer. We didn't know that. Uh, I'm not gonna say the name, but we Googled it. After looking at the papers, we Googled it and we saw the child picture. I mean, there was a, like a big fundraising and everything, trying, you know, but she passed. And she passed in the hospital where my wife at the time used to work at. So we used to hear and I, and like I say, this look, I'm, this, I don't lie. I'm into the law of attraction. I don't, I'm not negative. None of that. You can watch my videos how I am. We used to hear footsteps, like running. The house was humongous. It was almost 3,000 square feet. It was a big, big house. And we would hear footsteps back and forth at nighttime. We, we used to get up and say, is that our son? You know? Uh, my daughter wasn't born by then. Uh, we had a newborn baby, Mikey, but we thought it was Elijah. He was like four years old, running back and forth the house. No, sound asleep, his door's closed. I'm like, what is that? And sometimes at night we were here because we recycle cans, you know, for our planet. You know, we believe in green planet. And so we do the best we can in recycling. So we used to hear on the recycle bag going, <laughs> we can hear the cans and I will get up with her and we will walk thinking there was like something maybe a rat or something or who knows you know like yo what's going on in this place but there will be nothing 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 at all okay amazing so we decided to go on on, uh, on a few days down to Miami to see my grandma, you know, she's not alive no more, she passed already, uh, to, so she can see the, the baby, you know, Mikey. He was like a month old, two months old. Yeah, we took him on a trip. <laughs> so 
we go down to Miami and while we driving down to Miami, like getting real close to Miami, we get a phone call from the fire department. Yes. And we like, yes. The house burned in the middle of the night. Like, I think it was like two, three o'clock in the morning they put. Okay, we left, we were gone. We left around two o'clock in the afternoon that day. We were already in Florida, close, like, almost, I think we were in Miami or getting real close to it. Or we were there already when we got this call. And we were like, what? We just bought this house. You know, we had pool table, it had a game room with a pool table, everything. The pool table came with the house. The owner left it for us and everything. It was humongous. We just put $10,000 and new lights. And I was putting um, porcelain floor. You know, my first floor I ever put in my life. But I'm like, I saw a video on YouTube and I'm like, oh, that ain't hard. I can do that. So it was coming out good, you know, upgrading the house how we wanted it. And here it is. It burned down to the ground, completely burned down to the ground. So they're saying that it was an electrical fire, something with the power. When we bought the house, that power, the, the breaker box was updated and it was new and I don't, I don't know, something with something. But we lost a ton of money i mean we had insurance and everything but still you know we lost the 10 grand that we just put in the house that was gone and we were like we just bought this house i mean everything we had we lost and with in a newborn baby we got come on staying living in a hotel and everything until insurance settled and we move down we decided let's move down to florida she liked it on there. My cousin was on there in Tampa. It's, it's, it was beautiful. So we moved there. But yeah, it's like, I don't know. I really don't know, you know, what to say about these spirits. What is it? I tried to look it up. I, I, I don't know. You know, if anybody has any information, anything, you can point me to the right direction, like a website or anything, and leave it in the comment. And so I can look it up because, look, I'm worried, okay? I'm, I, I live here in Alabama all by myself in my farm. And she lives down there, you know, with our three kids. You know, so it's, it's scary. You know, I get, I get scared. I'm like, I, 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 I can't go there, down there and do nothing and, and, and uh, I don't know what to do, number one. And number two, all my money is invested in the stock market and waiting for the market makers, the manipulators and the flippers to flip and get everything on that and let the companies go up in value or where they should be. But just wait for it, you know, patience. All right, um, thank you for watching. Uh, this is Mikhail, and um, subscribe and give me a thumbs up and check out all my other videos. I got videos on everything, funny dogs, you know, chiquitica dog. There she is. You heard her barking. <laughs> so, all right, thanks for watching, and have a good day. Thank you.